Hey, welcome to the channel. This is a radiator. We've all got them, but they can look a little ugly, so let's do something about it. So we're gonna make this radiator cover out of 18 millimeter MDF. That's gonna make it very strong, but also keep it quite cheap. So we've got a couple of boards here. They're 1.8 meters long and 600 millimeters wide. We're gonna cut those into two different widths, 15 centimeters and 10 centimeters. The 15 centimeters will be the side panels and extend the cover past the radiator and the 10 centimeters will be all the braces and everything in between. I'm using a mini circ saw with a fence to cut my strips. Slide the fence on, lock into place, and then when cutting, run the fence along the side of the material to get a straight cut. So now I've got our boards cut to width, we've got our 10 centimeters and our 15 centimeters. We can now concentrate on the measurement of our radiator. Mine is 160 centimeters wide and 80 centimeters tall. We're gonna wanna add about five centimeters to the top so we have a little gap for ventilation and airflow. There's also probably a thermostat either side, so just add a couple of centimeters so your radiator cover goes past these. To get a perfect 90 degree cut, you can use a square as a guide. So these lengths cut to 85 centimeters will eventually become the side panels of our radiator cover. But first, you've probably got a skirting board underneath your radiator. So we need to notch out a gap at the bottom of the 15 centimeter board. This is so the cover sits flush to the wall. There's a curve on my skirting board, so I'm using a coping saw to cut the shape. It has a thin blade and a deep handle that makes it very maneuverable. Alternatively, this could also have been done using a jigsaw. So now we've got a gap at the bottom for the skirting board, we can work on joining these two boards together at a right angle to create our side panel. We're going to be doing that using a biscuit jointer. What a biscuit jointer does is cuts a small slit into the wood where you then glue a biscuit. This then holds the two boards together. Set the angle on the biscuit jointer. Slide on the blade guard. Set the depth of the cut to match your material. And don't forget the dust bag. Mark the location of your cuts on both boards so they match. This will make sure they will line up together when glued. So now we've made our cuts on the board using the biscuit jointer. Next, we're gonna fill those slots with some wood glue, slide in a biscuit, and join these boards together. It's a good idea to mark the boards in pairs, just so you know which two to glue together. So we've glued the side panels together and while they're drying we'll concentrate on the braces. These need to be cut slightly longer than the radiator for the thermostats. So mine's 160 so I'm going to add 5 centimeters either side and cut these at 170. So our sides are now glued together and our braces are cut to length. We also cut a slot in either end of the braces with the biscuit jointer. That's so we can join the sides and the braces together. We're going to want a 3 cm gap at the top and a 10 cm gap at the bottom for airflow. Glue the braces and sides together. I've also screwed another length behind the braces on the inside of the cover to create a lip for the face. Sand any edges for a smooth finish. So the main body of the radiator has had two coats of MDF primer and a couple of coats of matte paint. So we'll leave that to dry, but while that's happening, we can work on the front. So I've cut some three centimeter band at 53 centimeters long. These will become the face of our radiator. And we're just gonna give them once over with some wax and a cloth.
So we've got all the battens on the front of the radiator cover and we screwed them in from behind so they wouldn't be seen from the front. We also put some L-shaped brackets into the corner of the radiator cover. That's to attach our top, which is gonna be this, which we'll finish with some Danishaw. I've used a hardwood for the top, cut slightly bigger than the cover to create an overhang and sanded through the grits to help bring out the grain. There it is, a finished radiator cover. If you found this video helpful, give us a like and don't forget to subscribe because there's plenty more builds like this on the channel. Thanks for watching and if there's anything else you'd like us to build, let us know in the comments.